Okay, welcome back. This is our second video. What I'm assuming here is that you've already made a basic mod and that it was able to run in Eclipse. If you haven't done that, go back and check out the first video. Okay, for those of you that are ready, the next thing we're going to work on is creating a new sword. First, we need to add the sword template image. We're going to do that inside Eclipse. I already have Eclipse running, but if you didn't, you would go to Finder, and then you would go to your hard drive, and then you would go to Users, Shared, Minecraft Mods, Eclipse, and then you would see Eclipse right here and you would run it. I'm not going to do that since I already have it running now. Okay, so here's my Eclipse. I'm going to go ahead and close all the folders so it looks a little bit neater. Collapse all. Okay, then I'm going to open it. And the first step is I'm going to select Templates down here and open that up. And then since we're adding a sword image, we're going to find that in resources, sword, and then we have our sample sword.png. Okay, so we're going to hold down control and press click. I clicked with my mouse, well actually my pad. Okay. So now that I've clicked, I need copy. So now I should have copied this image file. This PNG just means portable network graphics, and that's a type of image file. Okay, now that I've copied it, I need to find the right place to paste it. But I need actually to make a new package for that. So under source main resources, I'm going to hold down control and click source main resources and make a new package. It's going to be a new place to put items. I'm going to call it assets.mymoddingtutorial.textures.item. Okay, now this is important that this is spelled exactly correctly, so I'm going to look at this really closely. Assets, A-S-S-E-T-S, -S -S -E good, my, modding, M-O-D-D-I-N-G, tutorial, T-U-T-O-R-I-A-L, good, textures, good, items, okay. That looks good. I'm going to select finish. Okay, now once that's collected, uh, once that's created, I want to control click, and then I'm going to paste. Okay, so now inside of the assets, you can see the sample sword.png. Perfect. Let me show you the slide for that. Okay, so you can pause here as needed. Okay, now moving on, we're going to edit the sword. Okay, so we're going to control click on sample sword.png, and then we're going to open with other. We're going to make sure we have external programs selected here. Then we'll press the G key to get down to the G programs. And then we're going to scroll down till we see GIMP and click OK. Okay, so now this is going to launch GIMP, which is another program. You can see our teeny tiny sword. Don't worry, we're going to zoom in before we try to edit it. But there it is. This is what we're going to edit. And you can see it's a little bigger right here. OK, so if GIMP isn't maximized, select the green circle here, the plus sign, to make it maximize so you can see everything a bit more easily. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to go and show you the slide for that. Nope, not there. Here it is. Okay, so here we are. We're in GIMP, and these are the steps. Pause as needed. Okay, then moving on, we're going to zoom in in GIMP. Okay, so we're going to go back to GIMP. This is what GIMP looks like. And we are going to zoom in. So we're going to select View, then Zoom, and then Other. Okay, once we're in here, we want to change our zoom. Double click to select it so we can change it more easily. We're going to change it to 5000. We're going to click OK. There's our sword. You can see our tool is huge, so we need a really tall uh, pencil, a really small pencil, so we can edit this more easily. Okay, so we're going to click on the pencil. Then we need to go over here to the smallest brush. Then we need to make the brush even smaller. So over here in size. We're going to use the down arrow until this is all the way at 1. You could probably also just type 1 in there. Okay, so now you can see our pencil is 1 pixel by 1 pixel. And pixel is just a picture element. It's a shortened way of saying picture element. And it's the smallest, smallest piece of an image as far as an uh, image of this type. Okay. So now we need to get the color we actually want to use. Now I was going to make a rainbow sword. So I am first going to select bright red. Okay, so I'm going to make a few bright red pixels. And then I'm going to, oh, let's say it just went out of control and my pencil just went everywhere, what would I do? Well, you have a special way of undoing. You can do Command and then Z to undo. And if you want to redo it, you just said, oh wait, I liked it completely crazy. You could use Command, hold down Command and press Y to redo. So try that. Try Command Z and Command Y. So I'm going to, I don't, really don't want that. I'm going to go undo that again. And now I need another color. You can see here, to get to orange, I'm actually going to select in here. And then up here, you can see the new colors displayed right here. I'm going to select orange, and then I'm going to make some orange pixels. Now I might ha have time for every real color of the rainbow. So this is going to be maybe a little bit my impression of a rainbow. Then I'm going to select yellow. That's not very yellow. There we go. Okay, so do some yellow, and I think I'm going to go straight to green. I'm not going to do it all the way. It's going to be a little bit of a mixed up rainbow. And then I'm going to find some blue. Okay. And then I am going to do some purple. Purple you can see is kind of more over here. Now if I want a little bit more of a dark purple, I would select down here. And see this is the darkest and then the lightest. So there is my purple. And actually, you can see here my sword has gone a bit off the edge. I'm just gonna make this tip purple too. Okay, so that's looking pretty good to me. I think I am ready to save. So this is a bit funny. GIMP has a funny way of saving things. So instead of going to File, Save, we're going to go to File, and then Overwrite SampleSword.png. Okay, so once I select that, it's saved. Then I'm going to close GIMP using GIMP, Quit GIMP, and tell me I haven't saved. 
but I'm pretty sure I have. So I'm going to discard changes. Okay. So now I should be able to go back into Eclipse. Okay, but before I get all the way over there, this is our slide about GIMP. If you need to look at these directions, you can pause this here. Okay, so moving on, we're going to need a class. We're going to need some code to go with that image. So now that I have gone back into Eclipse, I'm going to add my sample sword class. So I'm going to select not in resources. Resources are for images. But I need code, so I'm going to go to source main Java and select my mod. And I'm going to add a class, a bit of a new way. There's a button over here, new Java class. I'm going to add a class using the button this time. And I am going to call it sample sword. All right, and that is going to create this sample sword.java file. Now our code is a little bit lacking here, so we're going to go over to our templates to get some code. So I'm going to go to templates, code, sword, and then I'm going to go over to the sample sword underscore class, select command A to select all, then command C to copy. Then I'm going to go back to my sample sword.java and I'm going to press command A, then command V to paste my code in. All right, looking good. Here is the slide. Oop, that's not it. Here it is. Oh, this shouldn't be control. This is command and command. Okay. Previously I taught this code class for Windows, so we're just modifying for Mac. I thought I had already modified, but okay, so if you need this, you can pause here. Otherwise, we're going to move on. Okay, so now we need to add our sample sword to the main.java. That's where all the action is. So we need to open templates, code, sword, and then sample sword underscore main.txt. Okay. Okay, so now we are going to select part of this right now. So we're going to select the line that starts public static item. So we can see right here, public static item. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so we can see this a little more easily. Okay, so the line that starts public static item okay this one right here with the sample sword and we're going to keep going until we get to the end of the code These, this type of code in Java is all going to have this semicolon at the end we want to make sure to select that semicolon it can be a little tricky but it's super important this is how Java knows that this is the end of the line Okay, so after we've selected that, I'm going to press Command C to copy. Okay, so Command C. And then we're going to go up to my mod, main.java. Now we don't want to paste over all of this because a lot of this is still good. So we're going to go after the line that includes the word version. So right here, after this line, and then we're going to pay, 
press Command V to paste. Okay, so hold down co Command and press V. You can see it's this really long line, but it, you've got the semicolon, so that's good. You can down here, you can scroll back. Okay, so you can see Java is not pleased with the word item here. So item cannot be resolved to a variable. So we're going to need to fix this. So we're going to hover over and select import item. Now there are a few items here. We have to pick the right one. And you can probably guess it's the Minecraft one, but there are two. So we need to break, pick the right Minecraft one, and it's this one. This one that says import item net.minecraft.item. Okay. So that's happier, but you can see there's still this red X. So we need to scroll over and figure out why is Java still not happy. Hmm. Okay, so it's this here. The creative tabs doesn't know what the creative tabs is. So we have to also import the creative tabs. So you can import creative tabs. Okay, and now you can see Java is happy. There are no errors here. And also, there are no errors here. You might not have noticed it, but I believe you would have seen an error icon up here. Okay, so now that Java is happy, Add a bit more to main.java. So we're going to open. Oh, before we do, let's go back to our presentation. And here, this also needs to be command and command. Okay, so command C to copy, command V to paste. Okay, oh, right now we're here though. Command, command, okay. So we hovered over and we imported the item and we imported the created tabs. Okay, so you can pause here if you need to. Now we're going to add the sample sword to main.java. Okay, so we're going to go back over to Eclipse. You can see it here. And then we're going to open templates. So here's templates, it's already open. Then code, then sword, sample sword underscore main. Okay, and then we can just scroll to the left. Okay. Now we need the line that starts with game registry, and we're going to read this one here, game registry, register item sample sword. This is what's going to put our sample sword into the game. So we're going to select that and then command C. So then we need to go back to our main.java. And right after the main, this is going to be in the main part of the game where we need to add it. We're not just defining things anymore. Up here is our little definition area where we define what we're going to use, but in main is where it actually does things. So we're going to add it to the game. Command V. So add the sample sword to the game. Okay, so I know right now you might be thinking, hey, I don't want my sword to be called sample sword. Don't worry, we're going to fix that up in a minute. But for right now, this is all going to be internal still. 
to our game, this name, we're going to change the name in another spot. So right now it just leave it all as sample sort. Okay, let me go back to the slides. Okay. So we entered for a new line, we paste it in. Okay, so now is the part where we're going to actually change the name. So we're going to edit what's actually a resources file to change the name. Okay, so back to Eclipse. We're going to select Templates, then Resources. You can see it's already open. Sword, and right here you have the sample scored underscore en underscore us dot txt. This basically, this is where you're going to put the information about what the sword is called in English. We're not going to make sword names in any other languages. Ours is just going to be in English. So this en is for English, us is for United States, which is our country. Okay, so you can see it has item sample sword. So we're going to do Command A, Command C to copy it. Then we're going to click Source Main Resources, which is right here. And then select, oh, we control click Source Main Resources. Select New, then Package. Okay, and then we're going to call it assets dot my modding tutorial dot lang. So lang is for language. Lang should have one G. This is again one of those things that's very, very critical is spelled correctly. So we're going to double check assets dot my modding tutorial dot lang. A lot of people tend to put one D in modding. We're going to put two Ds. Okay, so we're going to finish with that. So now that you can see we've added the package, we're going to control click on that new package. We're going to create a new file. We're going to call that new file en underscore us dot lang. Okay, once we've created it, we're going to press finish, and then we're going to make sure our cursor is inside this file, and we're going to press command V to paste. Now this, this is the super exciting part. We are going to rename our sword here. So we don't want our sword to be named sample sword. We want our sword to be renamed whatever amazing sword name we came up with. So I'm going to call mine rainbow sword. It's the rainbow mod and as you can see I created a rainbow sword. And then I'm going to cl click X to close that and save it. Alright, let's take a look at the slide. Okay, you can pause here if you need anything from this. Okay, once you're done, we can move on. We're going to test our new sword. So now it should be added to Minecraft. So we're going to run Minecraft. We can do that by pressing here, run client. If it asks us to save, we want to save. Yes, indeed. Saving is good. Okay. All right. So now that it's saved, we can create a new world. Actually, before we do that, let's make sure that we have our mod. There we there it is, my rainbow mod. Excellent. Okay. So now that I was sure that that was there, I'm going to create a new world. Now I want to make sure to change it here to creative so that my new item is going to be easily accessible. <coughs> Excuse me. Just sneezing. Okay. So creative. 
Okay, so then I'm going to create a new world. As you know, this can take a little bit because it's actually creating a whole new world. What's interesting is here you can actually see it happening inside. Okay, so now we have new world. Looks pretty good. Looks like I'm in a bit of a grassy area with trees. Okay, so now we want to get down to business. We want to do just what it says. We want to press E to open our inventory. So I'm going to press E and I'm going to go straight to search for items and I am going to look for the rainbow sword. Oh, there it is! It looks so adorable! Rainbow sword. All right. Now we can select it and then we can press escape to go back to the game and you can see our rainbow sword. And I can click to use my rainbow sword. I want to get a better view. Okay, great. So we tried out our new sword, success. Now later in the later we're going to make our sword have different attributes than a regular sword, but right now that was our goal. So you can try out your new sword, play, play around a little bit in Minecraft. If you want to, you can go back and edit your sword image again if you felt like the way this looked wasn't how you wanted it to look. But I'm pretty pleased, my rainbow sword is here. All right. So to close Minecraft, you can hit escape and then save and quit. You can close right here. Okay. So now I'd be back to Eclipse and I'm going to end the recording there. If you have any questions, be sure to ask me.